PS Audio's DAX uh, are, as designed by Ted Smith, are all DSD based anyway. Yeah, right. You know, so everything is DSD based mm -hmm. um, in the electronics, but noise. That's, that's, because well, that's, the, down, that's the downside of DSD. Yeah, you know, so let's talk about that. What, what does that mean? At the standard rate uh, DSD, which is 2.8 million uh, samples a second, yeah. uh, there's HF high frequency energy that gets created during the sigma delta modulation. Uh, and uh, it starts maybe, uh, I, you might know better than I do, but maybe around 20, 30K, uh, not, not 20, yeah, but 30, 35. Like 40 to 40. 50, I think it's 40 to 50. Where, where, it yeah. starts to, where it starts to make an appearance. Yeah. And uh, in pretty much every DSD playback system, there's a gentle filter that tames that, that uh, DSD energy in playback. Mm -hmm. So that's built into the D to A converter, but there's still some there. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that you hear. Uh, and as, as long as the amplifiers are good and they don't freak out with high frequency energy and cause intermodulation distortion, it's DSD sounds gorgeous. You know, you, you, we don't hear it. Well, yeah, because uh, I don't know any speakers that can reproduce 40 or 50 kilohertz, except yours. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but still i mean there's there's also audio content up there too that uh, yeah you know. well in phase, phase information and phase information yeah but but i mean even as good as you're hearing is, right as, as a crusty old bird like me well it's not that not great hear, you don't hear that no uh, that high no 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 uh but you definitely feel it and uh again but talking about the noise, yeah. that's the downside of DSD. Okay. Uh, it, it certainly gets in the way. If you're doing a big project with lots of tracks, it can build up in the console. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I don't think I'd want to do more than 32 tracks. If you start doing more than that, at that sample rate, it starts to, you know, you start hearing uh, the results of that. Uh, the other place where it's a problem, uh, you know, cutting vinyl from DSD. We just kind of just have been going through that recently where uh, if the cutting amp doesn't handle the high frequencies uh, well and, you know, the cutting, the cutting head is in the feedback loop of the cutting amp. Mm -hmm. So that becomes part of what's going on with the high, high frequencies. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know all the reasons, but uh, it, apparently the fact that the cutting head is in the feedback circuit of the amp plays a part of why there's intermodulation distortion if there's energy up there. Uh, and again, I, I'm not a design engineer so I'm, that, that knows that in depth, but this is what I think is going on. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, so we have to filter the DSD that's going to the cutting amp even more. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it has to be a brick wall filter, but we get, have to get it down to the point where, you know, that playback system uh, doesn't react to the high frequency energy. Otherwise, it's going to come out in the vinyl. Yeah. Uh, and I think it depends, too, on, on the cutting amp. The design of the cutting amp, uh, whether or not it can respond to that, sure. and and the design of because essentially the output of a of a DSD DAC, right. if you will, is just a low pass filter. I mean, right, it's just a simple it's, low pass filter. In its simplest form, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, which is one of the reasons I think that it makes it sound so analog because you don't. Yeah. In PCM, you've got some big complicated ladder networks. And, yeah. Um, yeah. So. So generally, you're saying that in most systems, the noise isn't ever in, going to be in, a in systems that we listen to at home, yeah. where there's two channels, six channels, you know, yeah. uh, the noise is never an issue. Yeah. Almost all the amps can deal with it. Uh, they don't cause intermod, uh, and the, le the you know there's HF energy, but it's still way way down there, mm -hmm. uh, and inaudible. So you know. It exists. It's not a problem. I'd still much rather listen to, 
you know, the DSD audio than than a PCM version that doesn't have the noise. Oh God, me too. And uh, give, give me the noise if that's yeah. if that's the consequence. But, but I mean, but I in, hear, you, you don't hear any hiss when you're listening. No, 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 not at all. But in uh, <clears throat> in the professional environment, there certainly is a reason why you would want to double and quadruple that if you're using a lot of channels. Because the higher the sample rate, the, the higher the, the noise. The further away the noise is. And, you know, you're, the filters can be much further up there. They can be gentle filters. Uh, and... Uh, so double rate... Quad rate, those, double those rate, quad rates, rate. Yeah. yeah, if you're gonna, if you know, in in a lot of today's productions, they're they're creating music with hundreds of tracks, and that's too much for you know DST. Uh, it, it, it would, you could do it if the rate was way up there, you know, but it's kind of uh, ironic that if the more tracks you create, the you know the more data you're going to use because you have to double and quadruple the sample rate, so. That's a, that's yeah, a lot of that's bits. That's a lot of bits, yeah. <laughs>